Good morning, everyone. I am Francesco Lo Giudice, a jazz organist. Today, I have the privilege of telling you about the latest addition to Viscount Instruments, the newest member in the digital tone wheel organs family, the Legend Soul. It's currently available in two models, the 273 and the 261, in which the main difference is the overall size. The 261 model is slightly more compact because it does not have the black octave keys. In this video, we will first talk about the main improvements regarding this instrument, and then we will take a look at all the features and how they can be used through the new interface on the instrument. It is important to clarify that this instrument does not replace the current Legend line, which is already a top seller in the market, but an evolution of it. It's a top-class organ which will enlarge the Legend family and will therefore be developed alongside the new instrument. Now, before we begin this adventure regarding this wonderful new instrument, I would like to quickly tell you about the birth of Legend Soul. It's a treasure chest of sorts that contains years of intense and fruitful collaboration between the Viscount design team with Elvio Previati and our much-loved Joey De Francesco. He managed to fulfill all his requirements, not only from the point of view of the sound quality of this instrument, but also from the point of view of technological implementation that would have been able to support all his genius and creative flair. The autograph signature of Joey D will always be on the front edge of these instruments. The first incredible innovation is the nine contacts. Thanks to a patented system, it has managed to reproduce the nine contacts as in the old electrophonic organs. Below every key, we will have the nine contacts. Relative to the nine drawbars on the instrument, the Viscount team has also given the possibility of editing this function. For example, you can decide the attachment point of the first drawbar and the point of the last drawbar. When we click on Edit under Manuals, which is already present, you can see, the position of the first contact can be edited as well as the position of the last one. Let's talk about this second feature, which is from an audio point of view. This is indeed a two-manual organ, but in reality, each keyboard and also the pedal board can be amplified and equalized completely independently. In addition to the traditional main left and right output, the 11-pin output can be used for connecting old and new generation rotary amplifiers, such as the spin tone and the vortex. In addition, there is also an output dedicated to pedal board sound. Viscount has also added an AUX1 and AUX2 that allows the signal of the keyboards to be sent completely independently. For example, we can send the upper manual to AUX1 and the lower manual to AUX2 with independent management of sound, amplification, and equalization. This is possible simply by pressing upper, lower, and pedals. You can click, and as you can see, the upper has the destinations for the main out which is the general output of the instrument without effects. We also add AUX1 or AUX2 effects, so you can see a total independence of timber and sound. The same goes for the lower. We can decide where to send the signal. Same thing goes for the pedals. The pedal board can have the totally effects-free output with the vibrato chorus of the lower manual or the totally independent pedals out output. A further possibility added to the lower manual and strongly desired by Joey De Francesco is further independent management of the two octaves of the lower manual. 
How many times in a live situation or in the recording studio have you been asked to amplify or equalize the bass lines independently? It is now possible thanks to the function that Joey so desired. Now I'm going to play a blues in F in traditional mode. That is with all the organ sounds coming out of the main outputs. The right hand will just play some chords and the left hand will play some bass. And then we'll switch to the new left hand function. Now let's activate the left hand function by simply going to Edit, Manuals, and the second item is lower left hand side. Activate it and then go back. Go to the upper lower pedals destination. And under item 4, there is actually left hand, and we can decide whether to send it to aux 1 or aux 2. Now I'm going to send it to aux 1, and I'm going to play the same blues again, always chords and bass lines. Now let's talk about the third important new feature, which again concerns the first two octaves of the lower manual and another option strongly desired by Joey. When there is no possibility of using a pedal board, there would be no possibility of doing the so-called tapping or hitting the notes of the bass to give the bass, to give that attack that the lower manual sound lacks. A new THUD option has been implemented, which then allows you to be able to replicate this tapping, either via a switch, for example, any pedal, or automatically directly on the two octaves. The activation mode is always via our edit menu pedal. And as you can see, we have the THUD mode item which can be switched from OFF to MANUAL. So you will hear the effect directly on the keyboard automatically. Or we will have the possibility to assign it to an external pedal. A foot switch like this one that I'm going to put on the floor now. Bicount has also thought of letting you decide which note to play. And again, thanks to our Edit Menu pedal, we go to the THUD note, and then you can choose from C1 to C3 which note to hear when entering the THUD option. Let us now continue with more new features on the side panel of the lower manual. Effects have been added in the Legend Soul. And as you can see, there is a dial that recalls them. There is Overdrive, the Phaser, the Wah-Wah, Tremolo, and Delay. To activate them, press the FX Effects On button and decide which of the effects you want to use. For example, the Wah-Wah. Through our edit panel, we can further edit the effects in question. And we can access it from the edit button on the left panel and also by simply pressing the effect dial. It takes you directly to the presets of the effect recalled. For example, with the wah-wah, we have presets with the auto wah-wah. Wah. 
There are two custom presets that can be fully saved, thanks to the presence of the Legend Editor, which is downloadable both on PC and on Macintosh or Apple. You can manage each preset as you prefer. Save it on the machine and recall it whenever you want to use it. On our OLED screen, we have these two custom presets I was telling you about. There are various presets, such as Crywa, Gunwa, etc., etc., which you can test. The management of this effect can be either automatic, with the Autowa preset we have just played, but also here you can connect a pedal to the instrument via the foot input switch 1 or 2 available, and then manage that too in total autonomy as you prefer. There are other different effects such as tremolo, delay, phaser, and so on. During live performances, you can use the rate and amount knobs so you can modify parameters in real time. For example, for the tremolo effect, this is the rate. We have a red light that indicates the intensity of the effect as it is increased, and then also the amount. That simply tells us the amount of effect compared to the clean signal that needs to be inserted. We also have the tap button where we can manage the speed. For example, you can change the rate of speed of the effect by pressing the tap button. I can decide to influence in real time this effect. We also have delay. phasers, etc. as well. And the best way to find those is by pressing the edit button that takes us to our menu with the effects. Let us now come to the new features concerning the instrument sounds. Not only are there tone wheel organ sounds present, but the sounds of liturgical organs, pipe organs, and even transistor organs that were present in Europe and also in Italy in the 60s, from the 60s and 70s, are also available. How can you select them? It's very simple. We have three buttons on the side panel of the upper manual. Just press on the button on the panel, and there is a whole selection of organs. In time, we will implement other sounds. Including the pipe organs in the various models, Baroque, Romantic, Symphonic, and the transistors, which are two models one English, one Italian, that were very popular in years gone by. The function of the drawbars will change depending on the organs you play. They will follow their respective logics, but you can still intervene in real time to modify the sounds. The pedal board has a section dedicated to itself, with a whole series of bass sounds, ranging from organ bass, electric bass, acoustic bass, and synth bass. How do you activate them? Press the Model function in the bottom manual side panel. We will have a whole selection of bass sounds. We will have the traditional organ sound, a classic organ sound, liturgical organ sounds, a fretless electric bass, double bass sound, and the sounds of synthesized bass. Now, 
now through a function already present on the current legend models, which is the pedal to lower. It is possible to assign the bass sounds present and dedicated exclusively to the pedal board, even on the first two octaves of the manual lower. Simply activate the to lower function. And you will also have the available selection of models here. The Viscount engineers have added a further option, which is to be able to lock via the lock function the bass sound you choose for the pedal board, so you can change organ sounds. Let me give you an example by putting a synth bass sound on the pedal board and then activating the lock function. If we decide to change the organ sound, for example, go to the tone wheels, tone wheels. On the pedal board, we will still have the sound we decided to select and lock. The last pedal board function is the split function. We have just said that the sound of the pedal board can be assigned to the first two octaves of the lower manual of the organ. This can be changed. Let's go to our edit menu and select pedal board. We find among the various entries, pedals to lower, which assigns the sound of the pedal board to the two lower manuals. This is also activated directly from the panel, and we have to lower split. That is, we can select the split point. That is, at which point the pedal board should stop playing and leave the field to the actual sound of the lower manual. By default, it is set to B2. As you can hear, we have the synth sound. Here the organ sound returns, but through our dial we can choose either to lower or to increase the space dedicated to the pedal board. Until it remains at the single C starting point. As you can see, we have a very wide range to activate the function live. Once the split point has been selected, we have our split button that activates this function. Let's move on to the rotary effect. While it was always present in the current legend line, in the legend soul, it has been completely revamped. In addition to being incredibly natural, it is now possible to edit to your liking via the editor that can be downloaded from our website. Here is a demonstration of the naturalness and effectiveness of the new revamped rotary effect. We are in break, as they say in technical terms. I will now switch to slow. And return to the break position, otherwise known as the stop. The slow, or break, or fast time is fully editable, and you can decide the duration of these times from the many modifiable parameters. This is not all. If we go to our Edit menu and go to Rotary Amp, we have a whole series of functions that we can put in place. By going to Edit, Rotary, the first option we have is the bypass, which can also be activated from the side panel of the lower manual via this button, which will light up red. Pressing the bypass button will give you the sound of the organ without the rotary effect present. Thus, the rotary simulation is totally excluded, and you have the pure sound of the organ. Let's move to a whole new series of presets that are not just amps. Besides the rotaries, you have the classic. We will put it in slow to give the effect of a classic rear mono. Tutta una serie di classic, rear mono, front mono. Until you have the non-rotating amplifiers. This was often used in rock music 
to give the instrument more edge. On our screen, we will obviously have the R, indicating the presets which relate to the rotating amplifiers, the A to the, let's say, static amplifiers. Obviously, the first two presets available are A Custom 1, Custom 2, which I mentioned earlier. This allows you to create your ideal sound. The activation of the Leslie simulation is manageable on Legend 273 through the historical half-moon knob that can be removed and reinserted with extreme ease. On the Model 261, this knob and lever is present directly on the lower side panel and obviously allows you both to run the simulation and to operate a real rotating amplifier connected via the 11 pin. And only this way, actually. Not because, obviously, at Viscount, they have provided the possibility to manage the speed of the rotary speaker via foot switches. The first example is the one present on the expression panel that is included with the pedal board. There is a switch present on the pedal where I can activate the rotary effect by pressing this switch with my foot, moving it from break to fast. I will switch from slow to fast and reverse to indicate the speed change, and the LED on the rotary amp button will light up. According to the speed variation, now this operation is also possible via a foot switch or an external pedal that you can place as a foot switch. Even with two switches. Therefore, one switch will activate the function from break to slow and the other from slow to fast. Let's go to our edit menu. We click on the rotary amp and under direct level. Here we can mix the pure organ signal without it being passed through a rotary amp, mixed with a sound which passes into the rotary amp so that we can bring out details that would otherwise fade out with the sound only passing through the amp simulation. Let's continue with the last two options in this new rotary effect. One is the Memphis style. In the past, it was common to disconnect the lower rotor. This is dedicated to low frequencies to give a clearer sound of the bass lines, especially playing the walking, can now also be done on Legend Soul. Now I'm going to play a single note, even from the pedal board, by starting the speed in fast. you can hear the rotary effect. Now if we activate the Memphis style, the simulation on the bass is no longer present, but if you play a chord, the fast simulation is present on the top manual. The last feature regarding the rotary is the brake mode. I mean that the horns can stop when we switch from fast or slow to break in a random way. We will now have the precise ability to change the positioning of the horns depending on the option we prefer. Let's take a quick look at the commands and see the functions we find on the edit menu. We have the general volume, the key click, the crosstalk, the reverb, and the gain of the rotary amp, which is the signal gain which allows us to saturate our amplifiers. Simulating what used to happen in rotary amps and in tube amplifiers of the past. Reverb in our edit menu has an independent voice because the Legend Soul is able to replicate a series of ambient reverbs. 
In fact, in the presets we'll have small room, large room, hall, and so on. Also, we have two custom presets because the reverb is totally editable via the PC editor. But we will also have among the presets the typical spring reverbs of the old electromagnetic organs. So you can decide to use those as well via our edit menu under the reverb section and select the preset you like the most. Now, another function of the reverb is that you can choose the positioning of this effect. That is, have it pre-amplifier or post-amplifier, as well as for the vibrato chorus. We have the usual controls to send the effect to the upper-lower manual that are obviously independent. Three types of chorus, three types of vibrato, but also here in our edit menu, different types of presets depending on the vintage in which the organ was built. So we will have different nuances, and of course there is the possibility of playing the vibrato chorus of one vintage to an organ model of another vintage. Then we have a series of keys dedicated to presets, so we can make our own presets by deciding which configuration we like best. We can decide which button to save them on, and then simply press the Save Upper or Lower button, or Upper for the Upper Manual and Lower for the Lower one. There is also a gospel mode, so you can reverse commands and make it easier for gospel musicians to manage drawbars and manuals. Here it is on the mode. So it is in off mode. We reverse the two manuals. And we have a very interesting new feature that is also related to the lower mode which means we can assign the sound of the pedal board to the first two octaves and decide whether the sound mixes with the sound of the lower manual. We only hear the pedal board sound regardless of the draw bars, which are used for the sound of the lower manual. For example, now we are in split mode, so we will only hear the pedal board sound on the lower manual. With layer mode, we will also hear the sound of the draw bars on the lower manual. We continue our journey through the edit menu, arriving at the general settings item. Our usual click on the dial and we have tune. We can activate transpose. We can manage transpose from minus 6 to plus 5. When transpose is active, the blue LED on the transpose button lights up, and we can tune. Now it's set to 440 hertz. Let's continue with the equalizer. We can set a shelving or peaking filter. We can modify frequencies mids, and lows. This is also doable via the three potentiometers on the side panel of the lower manual, with the bass, middle, and treble. There is the preamp option, which simulates what used to happen in the preamp of the old electrophonic organs. So what we would have done with a screwdriver, we can now do directly here by acting on the tone control, again using our dial. There is also a hum, or HUM, where we can act on the background noise of the instrument and decide its level. There is an aux in, where we connect an external instrument, an additional keyboard, any effect, etc. We can decide whether this aux in is affected by the instrument's effects or must be clean. So here we can decide that aux in 1, we can decide that aux in is before the effects and therefore affected by the effects or after the effects. This is very useful. For example, if you find yourself playing with backing tracks, so you can continue playing the organ with all its effects, the simulation of the rotary, but the backing track will remain clean without any kind of influence. 
The same goes for the aux in two. For this organ, it is possible to connect two foot switches, and therefore we can go and manage the functions we want to attribute to these foot switches. For example, we can give foot switch 1 the option of working as a sustain pedal for the upper or lower manual, among many other options. We can also give it important functions, such as deactivating the effect of the rotary simulation or switching off the newly added Legend Soul effects. This thing exactly applies to both foot switches. We can also manage open, closed, or detected polarity automatically by the instrument. Also, for what concerns the pedal that manages the start of the simulation in fast or in break, we can determine the polarity auto, open, or closed. We can inform the machine if the switch is a single button, where it will only manage the brake to fast or slow to fast change, or if instead it is one switch with two buttons. As for the expression pedals, we can connect an RTS or TRS. Consult with the instruction manual to find simply the type of pedal that has a confirmation in terms of wiring of a certain type, so we can act correctly on that too. We can work on the expression pedal calibration, so we can change the starting and finishing point of the volume. We can decide if the volume goes directly to zero, or where the volume is minimal, but to sound like a vintage organ. As for the MIDI functions, they are editable. On the rear panel, there are various MIDI in and MIDI out. These are pre-established channels for the manuals and the pedal board, so it's all editable. They can be changed and please refer to the instruction manual for the specifications. At the last entry in the utilities, the light contrast of the display can be adjusted, and of course, the intensity of the LED. This is very important, especially in the 261 model, where a lot of functions are activated by turning on a button with an LED. In many stage situations, this excessive brightness can be annoying, so it is adjustable too. And of course, it is possible to save all the configurations that we have set through 127 programs. Therefore, we remember this last new feature that is the saving and the updating of current firmware is possible simply with a USB pen or a flash drive. Insert it into the appropriate USB input or on the rear panel and continue the procedure on the display. You can also see the presence of the pitch bend that allows us to modify the sound in real time, as it happens in many keyboards. We have finally finished this journey of discovery of this amazing instrument. I would like to thank the Viscount family and our great friend Joey De Francesco for giving us this instrument that will allow us to play and have fun. We are always thinking of him. He is one who helped us and was the key to making it happen. Nine for the ages, Legend Soul.